Utah Thunderbirds are in town. And uh, we are in courtesy of Crest Insurance now. Assistant Head Coach Charlie Ragel joins us now on the Right to It a Guest Sign. Coach, so what do you do on a game day? Start us out with what you do on a game day. Well, I got to, you know, by, by all accounts, the perfect. got to sleep in, got up at uh, about 6 this morning instead of about 4.50. <laughs> that was a good start. And, uh, you know, made our way down to Tempe uh, for a breakfast and a staff meeting at 9. And then we uh, had a defensive unit meeting. Uh, we finished our team, uh, which is the last night, which in our world is Friday night, right? Today is Saturday in our world. So uh, we had a defensive unit meeting. Uh, and we finished that, and then we went over to the indoor and had about a 45-minute walk uh, as a team and just, you know, dotting the eyes and crossing the teeth, so to speak, and then took the players back to the hotel. They're in their rooms off their feet right now. Everybody's kind of relaxing, and then we'll get together again here at 315 for a pregame meal, eat, final, final, you know, comments, and then we'll make our way to the stadium and, and get ready for kickoff at 7. Coach, I can just imagine maybe it was yesterday, the day before, that you guys – the old proverbial dress rehearsal, you know, running out the first team, uh, the special team guys, the first team offense, defense, kind of a mock game, if you will, getting guys in and out just to make sure everybody kind of sort of knows where to go in the opening game. No, you're right. We, we actually did that. We did that last Friday uh, night. Um, and again, just, you know, everything we do for the is for the first time. You know, it is all brand new. We're a new staff with guys. Uh, we, yeah, we've known each other for a long time, but we haven't worked together per se. And uh, so everything is new to us and new to our players. So a little bit of patience, extra patience is required. And uh, I'm making sure everybody's in the right place uh, at the right time and, and ready to do the right things when called upon. Uh, as you know, it takes a little bit of work. Charlie, you've been an assistant. You've been a head coach. And now you're back the assistant here with Kenny Dillingham. Do you still get the butterflies because it is game one of the season? Does that still happen for a veteran coach like you? Uh, it's funny because he and I were talking about it this morning, and he's like, I slept like a, a baby, he told me. I was like, well, blank you. You know, I was, like, <laughs> I, I, you know, I, was, <laughs> I, was, I was a little wired. I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, you know, this is probably, I don't know, nervous is the right word. The anticipation um, of being back home, I think, is a little bit extra and having so many people reach out and uh, just just wishing me and, and the program well. Um, there's a little bit extra because you're at home and uh, you want to perform well, not only for your family and friends, but obviously for the job that you do, just the personal pride. But I think it's all of the above, and, and there's certainly – a little bit of extra anticipation going into this first one. And, and with the head coach, you've been the assistant head coach. Um, talk about that role as far as manager, plus being the special teams coordinator. How much more is that as assistant head coach to help Kenny out? Well, and I, I think, you know, that's, that's obviously just that, you know, as I, I obviously am well aware that he is the boss and I, I don't try and, and, and poke my nose where it doesn't belong, but you know, my job is to kind of just sit back and observe things and, and, you know, just give him a, a different set of uh, eyes at times when he asks for it. You know, I don't want to be, poke, like I said, overbearing. I don't want to always come in with, a, with an answer or a suggestion. It's when he wants it, when he asks for it, if I think it's necessary, just to give him another perspective. And we got several guys on staff that, that have head coaching experience that, that help with that. And uh, he's really receptive into listening and, and taking on new ideas and I think that's one of the things that makes him great is he doesn't always have to have, uh, you know, the sharpest pencil in the room. Charlie Ragel joining us here, Fox Sports 910. I, I'm curious, um, when you, when you, excuse me, when you're uh, on the sideline as a head coach, it's, it's a little bit of a different view. And Kenny has been in the booth for so long at all the stops he's made. How much of a difference will that make for him? Well, I think we're going to find out tonight. <laughs> you know, uh, I, was, I was talking to my brother. Again, that's something that's brand new, right? It, it, it's been a long time since he's been on the sideline, and he has a guy that, that is going to help him, you know, uh, and, and say, uh, be an extra set of eyes down there and help him manage situations so that we stay on task because, you know, he's managing all three phases as the head coach. And uh, so I, I think that, you know, this is certainly a new challenge for him, but you know, obviously you see how he attacks every day with high energy and focus. And I don't uh, anticipate that it'll be any different because we're playing a game, uh, you know, tonight. 
Coach, I'm curious. You know, it's been a rough week in the sense of, you know, finding out you're, you're not going to be eligible for postseason competition. I'm curious at first, uh, how did it hit you? And then how hard or how bummed are you for the seniors that this, this happened? Well, I mean, obviously it's one of, one of those deals where, you know, um, it was tough when we, when we got the news. I, yeah. I think, you know, there was a lot of seniors that, um, you know, it hurt, right? But, uh, you know, it's something, as we told them, you know, it, 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 I, I say this all the time, you know, if you're, if you're going to leave a legacy, you first have to learn a lesson. And, um, you know, we talked about what that lesson was and is. Uh, as a, as a group, uh, and now it's about us going out three minutes a legacy uh, for this senior and the uh, for this season for these seniors and something that they can remember. And uh, again, it's something that's out of our control. Um, it's very unfortunate, but um, you know, as we told them, and as Coach Gillingham said, you know, multiple times, you know, uh, good things happen or bad things happen to good people all the time. It, it's not what happens to you, but it's how we react to it, and so. That's the only thing that we can control, and we have 12 games in front of us, and it starts tonight with Southern Utah, and that's where our focus is going to be as we move on to the season and these next 12 football games. Charlie, uh, set the fans up who are listening now to this interview with you. What should they expect tonight, A, to see from the offense, and B, to see from the defense? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, when, when you talk about offensive Lee, obviously, you know, I think everybody's eyes are going to be on the quarterback who, um, in, in my estimation, is a, a unbelievable talent. You know, uh, I think the question will be how quick can he process the game at, at this at this speed and, and you know, how um, how accurate can he be making good decisions and efficient in, Two minutes. in real life football. But his talent is, is unbelievable. And when I say unbelievable, I mean it is, is big time talent. It's just a, a matter of time with, with, with Jaden and and we're certainly going to see, uh, you know, um, what he does tonight. But I think that uh, you know, our offensive line will be drastically, drastically improved. And I think we have, uh, you know, both at the running back position and the wide receiver position as well as tight end, include those guys, uh, some guys that can make explosive plays. So I think that's something to keep an eye on. And then I think defensively what you're going to see from us is an aggressive style of defense. He's got some guys that, that can get off the football and, I think on the back end, the back seven linebackers and secondary, we've, we've got some athletes. And uh, I think you're going to see an aggressive style of defense play tonight and throughout this season. And I think it's going to lend to some exciting football. And uh, uh, hopefully we can add some some extra oomph in the return game and then put it all together. For one minute, really one minute. Season. Hey, Charlie, I, I'm excited. You know, as, a, as an ex-quarterback, I love the home run hitters, but I also love Jalen Conyers, your tight end. This young man's special. I mean, I'm not going to jinx him and say, hey, we've seen a lot of great tight ends come down the pike at ASU and in the Pac-12, but you got to say that this young man could really be a game changer for you guys this year. Oh, with, with, with that, Dan, without a doubt. He's, uh, he's a matchup problem for anybody that we play every week. Uh, he is a tremendous talent. He has great ball skills, and uh, we expect him to be at the forefront of that offensive uh, unit for sure. Coach, last one. Um, you mentioned to me, uh, I'll never forget, I remember where I was sitting when we talked, and you said, "Get you, you didn't say these words, but you basically said, get your popcorn ready, and you're going to love Clayton Smith, the transfer from University of Oklahoma. Tell us more about him and how what, what kind of talent this kid is. Yeah, this, this kid's a gamer. I, I got goosebumps right now. I mean, this, this kid is, uh, uh, he's got some twitch and explosion that I, uh, you know, I think that people are going to be excited to see. I think with him, B.J. Green, I think Chris Storber, those three guys, uh, you, you're really going to see some, some guys uh, in those three coming off the edge, uh, and uh, I think they're going to be tough to block all season long. So I'm excited. I'm excited for Clayton. I'm excited for Prince and B.J. It, it's going to be fun uh, starting here tonight at 7 o'clock with those guys. Coach, we're looking forward to this all season long. Thanks so much. Good luck tonight. Let's get the first one, and we'll talk to you next week. Looking forward to it, and I appreciate you guys. Go Devils. You got it. It's Charlie Ragel joining assistant head coach for the Sun Devils. He's presented by Crest Insurance. Crest Insurance Group offers personal, business, and specialty insurance solutions for clients across all markets. Just go to crestins.com. So we appreciate Charlie joining us.